Alright Brandon, what's up? What's up? What's up? In this video, we're going to look at another thing that you made progress with in terms of your delivery. Uh, and it's a big piece to creating momentum and drive towards the mound with our, or towards home plate with our body. And the concept that we're going to look at is the hip load and the, the knee lift and hip thrust. You're going to see here with Mariano Rivera, as he picks up his knee, he's going to simultaneously load these hips. You'll see right here the knee lifts, the hips load, and thrust towards home plate. So as he's lifting, he's already simultaneously thrusting into home plate to create momentum. And I want you to notice how those hips have gotten loaded. And if we look at Kurt Schilling again, you're going to see the same kind of principle. As he lifts this knee, he's going to load those hips and thrust simultaneously. So again, take a look at perfecting small. Knee lift, hip load, and thrust all in one motion. With Mariano Rivera perfecting small to get great results. Knee lift, load, hip thrust simultaneously. Now if we take a look at your progress as a pitcher, we look back when we first videotaped you at the beginning of these lessons to the most recent one, which is right here. One thing you're going to notice is a dramatic improvement with your hip load and thrust. You'll see here in the old one, you're not even going to load your hips at all. And there's no thrust whatsoever with the hips. See the hips start square or pointed towards us, and they stay pointed towards us. Whereas with the new one, when you pick up, you're going to notice a significant load with your hips right there. And you do a better job thrusting with the lead hip as opposed to there. And so this is so important because the better we are at perfecting the small movement simultaneously, all at once, lifting the knee, loading the hip, and thrusting with the hip, the more momentum we're going to create towards our target. And so you can see that in a short amount of time, one week, you've made progress. You need to continue to build off of this progress. Continue to work on that small movement so that you get better simultaneously lifting the knee, loading the hips, thrusting the hips to create momentum. 